So inside your CAD work spec, you might not have everything you need to finish your job. And your CAD administrator can get around to get it in there fast enough for you. So I want to show you how you can make custom pieces on your own that will actually isogen out. So welcome back to a new video. Uh, I apologize for the harsh lighting. Uh, I'm in a hotel room right now and I just really wanted to get some videos out. Uh, I'm also, I've got cheaters on. Uh, I'm getting old. I need them to look at my monitor. So uh, it happens to the best of us. So uh, hopefully it's not a bad look for me. Anyway, so like the intro said, I want to show you how to make a couple of uh, custom pieces that you can use to isogen out, um, put in your model and then isogen out to get it out into your production drawing. So first thing we're going to make, we're going to make a um, instrument, um, basically a simple PI. Uh, and I want to show you how to do this. Okay. So Basically, inside of uh, CADWorks, this is a CADWorks 23 here, and we're going to go to uh, right here under modeling and go to user shape. Okay, so we're going to use go to user shape. It's going to ask us what spec we want to use. So we're going to say, you know, CS 150. We're going to hit OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look for uh, our user shape. If we've already created some and maybe not the right size or the size that you need, uh, then you can go ahead and um, put this one in here. This one here, uh, we've got a PI, we got a PICC, and we got a PI test. You know, I've always always test these out. So we're going to look at the PICC, okay, and we're going to go to user shapes, of course. Um, then we're going to, it already has the number, okay? So if we did this from, from scratch, let's say we gave it a new name, we're gonna say test, okay? It's gonna say what user shape item. Inside of CADWorks, you have like five shape ones in here. So you can do like shape one to be uh, vowels. You can do shape two to be all instruments. You can do shape three to be uh, your support. Uh, whatever you or your CAD administrator wants to set those up as, um, you know, it, it helps with, you know, you know that all the instruments are going to be in shape too. But in this case, we're going to just go ahead and go into uh, PICC, okay, uh, specification 150. That was the one that was created in, so that's the reason it's grayed out. Uh, your layer, you set your layer. Uh, material, um, you can set a material here or you can just, uh, when you place it in, you can you can change it if you need to. Uh, density, set that to zero. Uh, this one right here, save to catalog. Um, if you have right access to your catalog and your CAD administrator might lock that down where you don't have it, um, when you create this part, it will go into the catalog so that way it can be used again and again uh, for uh, future specs. If you do not have write access, it's going to error out. So I would go ahead and just uncheck that if you're not going to write to the catalog. In this case, we're going to write to the catalog. We're going to add this one. Um, okay, so we're going to keep going down and then we'll come back up. Um, you know, fitting tight, fabrication, uh, erection, you know, this is a, a PI, it's an instrument, so we're going to say ere uh, erection. So sort sequence, we're just going to leave it as C zero. Uh, long description, whatever we want to put in here, you know, this is your long description. Uh, tag, um, I have PI dollar sign. Uh, actually, that's a uh, and sign, it should be dollar sign. If it's a dollar sign and then 111, when we... ISO this out, it will put it uh, with two lines in there. Um, any notes, any part numbers you want to put in there. Uh, coming back up, we've got uh, our folder location. So the default location of the shape is going to be in the same place as your spec. 
you can create a user shape folder. You just got to remember to path over there and do that. So actually that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit browse and we're going to say old specs. Okay. And we're, uh, don't, it will not let me create a new folder. So right now we're just going to keep it in there. Okay. Uh, our identifier, uh, instrument dial. If you look and your, your S key is IDPL. Uh, if you look inside of your Isogen S keys um, for uh, inside your CADWorks folder, uh, it'll have that identified uh, what your instruments are. So we're just going to call this IDPL. Uh, if you had a flange one, it would be IDFL. Uh, um, okay. So now we're going to uh, come up here and actually create the part. That's what these two. Uh, sections do. So this is a one inch I, uh, PI and so we're going to do one inch. We're going to select the uh, 3D solid. Okay. And this can be a block. It can be um, uh, one solid. It can be multiple um, solids. It, it's whatever you want to do. So we're just going to pick this one right here. Okay. And then it says, you know, where's your insertion point? Well, it's not up here. If you insert a, a PI up here, we have a problem. Uh, so we're going to select the center right here. So I have my snaps turned on. So we're going to pick that little guy right there. Okay. And then uh, change the solid or, you know, if you got a 2D uh, line or a 2D single line, you can put that in there too. We're going to say define connections. Okay. So when you click on that button, it comes back into the model and there's this little dotted line and I'll move the, the mouse over so maybe you can see it. And that's basically saying what direction uh, is this going in? So we're going to hit, we're going to go down. Okay. So the direction is going to go down. Okay. And then it says the second connection. Well, there's not a second connection. This is API. So we're just going to say finish enter okay and you'll see this little arrow right here okay um when it comes up with a, uh the dialog box okay so it says connection one that's the one we're on okay so we're going to select our end type uh for some reason this catalog only has butt weld so we're just going to go ahead and go with that one for right now but we'll end type uh your isogen symbol you know what this is so we're going to actually just say that this is you know default okay uh there's no gaskets there's no bolts with it if you were putting in a item that actually had two in types uh you would have to go to uh connection two to do the same thing or you can say apply same in types and ratings to all ends okay uh you know our class um, if you built your spec and it says 150, then go ahead and just put in 150. If it's 300, put in 300. Uh, rating, uh, temperature rating and pressure rating, uh, again, uh, you can put those in there if you want to. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit OK. Wait for it to come up. Okay, so now we have our we have uh, this is not it okay this is this is my dummy one so we are going to move this guy over to the side okay and we're going to go over to our spec view wait for that to come up there it is okay um, and we're going to go one inch and we're going to scroll down to user shapes And then there is our PICC video. Okay. So we're going to click on this guy. And there it is. And we're going to snap to the endpoint of that valve. Okay. And you can see that it, it brought it in normally. Um, and so if you double click on it. Or go into GC edit. And it opened up on my other screen. There we go you can see that it actually brings in all the information. Okay, so here is the PI. And again, this should be a dollar sign. So we're going to say dollar sign. 
Okay, that gives you an extra uh, uh, layer. Um, you know, you can put anything in your long description that you need. It inherited the line number. Uh, you can do erection or fabrication. And if you have custom data inside of your spec, um, then you can go ahead and put it in here. Um, you know, isogen, we can come over here, bring this one over, over to this guy. Uh, again, here's your identifier for your S key and your S key uh, number, any kind of text. So you get full functionality of this one. Okay, so we're going to hit OK. We're going to hit OK. And we're hopefully not crashing here. There we go. And we're going to go to deliverables. And we're going to go isogen out. I'm not going to isogen the whole line. We're just going to do this one little section. Nope, oh, I did the wrong thing. Okay, so let's go isogen out, select, here we go. We're going to grab these guys, put this one in here, and we're going to hit OK. Okay, we're going to hit open plot style. Okay. So now if we zoom in here, we have our PI is one 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 two two numbers and if we wanted to it's in the bill of material which uh, this is a new setup and so I have not configured this one yet uh, it will be for the next video if you wanted to set that where it wasn't uh, in the bill of material then you would just set that to existing it would still come out and you know everything it, everything would still be okay so so that's how you create a user shape the process is very similar when you do one that has two end types or even three um, three gets a little tricky you've got to find an s key that actually has three connection points but uh, it is doable to do multiples um, the only difference is you've got to uh, define your two different end types but it works very, very similar. So I hope that helps uh, you be able to create user shapes uh, so you can, you know, get ahead of your CAD administrator, uh, help him out on his job, don't bug him with every little thing that you might need. You can go ahead and do this on your own. So uh, please like, share, and subscribe to videos. Uh, I know this one took a little longer to get in. Uh, just, I've been very busy, just hadn't been able to do it. Uh, but I'm hoping to get more of these uh, out uh, faster. So uh, until next time.